is an, yet another example of what not to do. How is this not another example of Moshe getting it wrong again? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And we see Abraham do this every single time he gets it wrong. Mm -hmm. Every single time. I, I, I think I do uh, understand what, uh, what Monica is saying. I, I guess, but it's, it, that's, again, I, it brings me back to kind of where I was before. That's a very, that's someone who's, who's examining this text from a, the, the, from the background of, of someone who's really uh, versed in the, the, the ways of academia. Um, and, and that's not, no, but that's not, I don't, I don't mean that as a criticism, and often, I, I, what I mean is that, uh. no, but, okay, let me rephrase that. It, it is, a ver that is just, I, I give you too much credit. You were right, you had it right the first I, time. I, 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 give too, I give too much credit to academia by saying that, that is a very, no, I think right, my, okay. my language is influenced by academia, but I believe the ideas, the ideals, Right. are in here. I mean, I started thinking this way and doing this when, when I was barely an undergrad and right. didn't know what I was doing. I found Midrash. I found, you know, all, all, all sorts of things. Um, but if you're in a community that attempts to live by this scripture, you cannot base a community on um, that level of meta, that level of... Right. of, of you can only create a community, you can only run a family right. with right. binary thinking. Right. And, like and we do not do this in this house. Right, exactly. Right. This right. it's rule book versus text versus versus uh, yeah. Right. And, and no, this is a problem. It, it, you're right. It, it is a problem when it comes to how do you raise a family? How do you create and raise and maintain a family? Right. Because yeah, you can't. You know, there's this level of well, it's there's no such thing as either or. It's all very gray. I mean, I, I don't know how I'm going to communicate this to my children. Quite frankly, I, I agonize over this. Right. So it's a good point, but I, right. I, I just still think the essence of Judaism is not either or thinking. I mean, I, I, I come from a, an evangelical Christian tradition where it is, and I, right. I, I felt the differences profoundly right. when I found Judaism. Uh, yeah, no, I believe, what I believe. is the essence of Judaism that is not either or? Well, Love if you don't neighbor. believe in binaries, you can't believe Love in essences. Love your neighbor. You, Love well, your neighbor. if you don't believe in binaries, you can't really believe in essences either, I don't think. Oh, I God. Mean, uh, there's no either or, <laughs> but there's love your neighbor. <laughs> that's it. That's <laughs> it. Love your neighbor. Well, well all of Torah, love your neighbor. All of Torah I'm not the only one. Hello, Shammai. All right. Well, look. That, that, I, do, you that, think, do you think that's the essence of Torah, Joey? Come on. No, I, I do not. So uh, love I, your I, neighbor. I, 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 Agree with a lot. Some of the things Monica is saying, I, I do feel like I like her. I feel like I got a lot of that from my Jewish upbringing. I do not see that in any of the Jewish communities or Jewish scriptures that I look at. I, I, I'm kind of left with, well, how did it produce this 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 mm -hmm. impulse to die to, to genuine discourse yeah. when there's all these you know binary communities and binary uh, uh, scriptures? But but okay, and the scriptures are not that. But let, me but what, let me say one other yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. As far as the following your bliss versus mm -hmm. um, following your duty, um, there is a, I think, a, a vast chasm between following your bliss and following an externally imposed duty, which is the Rebbe who, 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 yeah, who there's tells a vast you. Difference. Right. But there is also an internally imposed duty, a sense of responsibility to pursue a specific program that 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 you have divined as being your calling. And that's and, and then that's what it is. And how easy is it to fool yourself and say I'm oh. really following my duty when all you're doing is following Oh incredibly easy. That's why I say mm -hmm. it's hard to think for yourself. That's why you can't create a community based on people following less. Right. Well I don't think I think communities are kind of ass generally. But like they're the but and that's why. I mean but you can only and you can't you can just do it for yourself. I mean hey, let me ask Monica one more question. Mm -hmm. Like it says in the tour that mix linen and wool. Now you can go through all the Midrash, all the rabbinic commentaries, all the rabbis for 3,000 years, mm -hmm. and you'll never find anything that says that's okay. So that seems like really binary thinking to me. And no, even with all the Midrash in the world. We just haven't gotten there yet. So you think it's that would be like an, an evolving advance to start saying maybe that's okay? Is Midrash not still being generated? Do you, th do you think Midrash is still <laughs> being generated? So like when In a way, Anita Diamond writes The Red Tent, you think that's Midrash? No, I think it's Midrashic. It's do you not think Midrash, Midrash is still being class. generated? I think Midrashic ideas and Midrashic texts that are important and valuable and necessary to understand Torah in today's world 
I think that's what's happening. It's not the same thing, but it's it's a similar idea. Is that? I, I think if I can be presumptuous, I mean, I, no, I look. I, I think that you, I, I totally uh, I, I, what you said about about what you got from Judaism. Uh, not only do I have no reason to doubt you, I have reason to believe you, because as I said, I, I, I feel like I understand that. I, I think personally that it's a mistake to assume that what you got, mm-hmm. that what we got from it, is the, the true essence of it, and that, yeah, is, is the essence of it. I, I think that there are, all, there are infinite interpretations, sure, and, and, sure, and everyone sure, sure. in the problem and communities develop their own interpretations, and that becomes the truth for them. And then, and Judaism is, has been dominated by people who, who, who um, you know, thought uh, debate's fine, but my, our interpretation is. But not every interpretation is okay. I mean, yeah, right, I'm not so going to say my interpretation is the only. I think I think it's a big part of Judaism. That's what I've gotten. That's what I see. So that's my argument. But I'm aware that there are other right. ways to look at it. Yeah, there are, and those ones are the. Um, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if you mentioned already in your blog your recent experience. You can but talk about it just okay. at the show. Okay, so so um, uh, people are excommunicated. Luke was was uh, was not excommunicated. Luke was uh, is is no longer welcome at the, at his uh, his shul. Um, there are the, the the dominant interpretations are not are are binary. When they try to create communities around this book, they come up with with very hard binaries, and 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 there are. That's where the human consequences are, because people who rely on those communities for anything are subject to the, the kind of the, the 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 violence, the violent certainty with which you know some jackass has decided uh, this is how it, this is uh, the only way to look at it, and and that's what that causes. There's a lot of suffering in that. That's why I say I don't like communities, because the idea of of of, of, of Identifying yourself as part of a particular community, then you're dependent upon all those, you know, people around you to 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 not do things and ide- and advance ideas that you think are bullshit. And you can't yeah. you can't control anyone else. You can't control other people's uh, uh, other people aren't like you. So wait, you said some interpretations are not okay. Well, you can't just interpret it however you want. Really? Well, no. Why not? Where do you draw well, the line? I, I don't know where that line is, and I don't. I, I hesitate to even, even say draw a line. I think there is a point at which, an interpretation can become transgressive, and I think there's a point at which, let's just say it becomes questionable and it needs to be discussed. Right. Um. You know, I can't. Well, you don't have transgression without a community that can be transgressed. I mean, if, if if you're a fully self-identified individual, then who who, who are you going to? Tr- what's there to transgress, other than other people's shit? I, I, what I'm saying is that it, it's there's no transgression is not intrinsic to any idea. Transgression is contingent upon the existence of a community that tells you what you can't do, right? Mm, I think you're right, but I'm th- trying to think of a way in which you're not right. Right. <laughs> um. <laughs> Well, that's a cool way to approach things, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, th- I think you're right, but I'm having a like a feeling that. No, I think by transgressive, when I use that word, I usually mean it's transgressive because it's hurting somebody else, and it's not love your neighbor. When it's and I, I think it's only. I'm well, that's, that's It's true. only transgressive yeah. when. It hurts somebody else, but often these things do. Okay, here's a question. Well, here's a, here's a mini story. I once dated somebody who um, kept kosher, was very strictly kosher. Well, I brought sprinkles cupcakes to his house, and he freaked out. Mm-hmm. And I felt I was mortified. Okay, I was shamed. I felt I felt terrible. So. Is that a point at which his observance, his interpretation, became transgressive because he made me feel like a big jerk because I had brought cupcakes? Uh, wait, well, them on the porch. Wait, you're the one who was transgressing. His but I didn't know. I didn't know. I was very. Ca- I've always been very conscious. I try to be very respectful, but if it's not something that I do, I don't always know all of the nuances. Right. Right. Well, you can never. Right. Well, right, and and so I just I thought. Well, no, I mean I think he's a coward. Well, the I, I, I think I mean, why what what you you hurt him? Why? Okay, you're right. Transgression is when you hurt someone. Look, 
hurt the poor members of a particular shul.